you owned a record company. Yes. Luther was doing the pools. He yeah. was going in, so he understood now, the I, network I, I of I understood DJs. the business from a retail standpoint. So when I watched the NWA records come in, and I seen it was dark, and people couldn't see it by me owning a retail store, you know, I made the bling. I took, I had a Rolex watch that was diamond and gold. So I told a guy at the at the art company, Pen and Pixel, I said, "Can you make my logo bling? Can you make the tank put the diamonds and the words no limit?" Bling it out in diamonds. That's when the whole bling era came. Mm. And when people walk in the store, they seen a no limit. Even they didn't know who we were. They was like, what's that? I want that. You know, and, and that's what you got to realize. You got to, like, people don't realize you got to be good at something. You know, like, what people talk about me, my music is good, and I done done that, but people look at me as a marketing genius because I knew how to market my product by owning my own retail store. Well, you diversified and you changed culture. Yes. Yeah. Beat your ass, fuck ass, fuck ass nigga. <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> Something my daughter be talking. <clears throat> the hell are we talking about, girl? My ducks, my swans, welcome to the pond. My name is Dorian from group82music.com. Right here, we got Master P talking about how NWA's mistake helped him make millions. You listen to what P said. The straight out of Compton album cover was dark. You got them in the circle and they point their guns right at your ass, ready to bust a cat. 80s, 90s, Cali slang. But inside of a record store back then, the lights might have been dimmer, so it might have been kind of difficult for people to see the N.W.A. album. Master P was in Richmond, California when this was going on, and he owned a record store out there. So he was studying the market and studying the clientele because they would come here looking for N.W.A.'s album. They couldn't find it. So when it came time for him to make his album and his records, he wanted to make sure it was easy to find. So what did he do? He made sure his logo was bright, had diamonds sparkling. So when people saw like, damn, what is that? What have I been telling y'all for years? You gotta have a logo. And when you gotta have a logo, you need to study why your logo is the way it is. When you look at the Dorian logo, I wanted something that stood out. I want something that's a little bit different, but you can still read it, whether it was horizontal or if it was stacked vertical. It kind of gives you a twist of my personality, but at the same time, when you see that or you see the backwards D, you know it's me. You need to be studying these logos, the Nike swoosh, the Apple logo. Study the colors, the psychology of colors, why they chose those colors. Every color has an emotion. Every image has an emotion. There are certain things that you see or feel when you see those shapes and those designs. This is the stuff you got to understand on marketing. Even if you're just making music, Master P understood this and that's how he was able to sell millions of records. Just one of the tiny things that a lot of y'all ignore or don't pay attention to can be very, very important. That's why we offer logo services at Group 82. We send you a questionnaire. In that questionnaire, we ask you, what are the colors you like? What are the fonts you like? Send us three examples of logos you like. Is there any special symbolism you want inside the logo? Is there any special message you want with the logo? And then we send you back about five or six drafts, and then we go back and forth two times to get you something that you really like. You gotta be thinking about these things. How many of y'all got a logo right now you can't fucking stand? So why the fuck do you still got it? Get rid of it. Go get something else, go get something new. Everybody's logos progress over time. You gotta be sharpening yours too. Does it represent your brand? Does it trigger some sort of emotion? When you see the OVO app, you know exactly what that is. When you see the Dreamville, you know exactly what that is. You know what these logos are the moment you see them. So why is it your logo standing out like that? You heard it from P, you heard it from me. Now it's time for you to get the B. That's busy. Those are the worst bars of all time. Buy a fucking logo. Go to our website, click the link in the bio, and you might be able to get your logo for 60% off inside of our packages if you click right now. I'm out the pond. Y'all stay true. Group82music.com.